There's one good one. Forbidden dress. What? That is a little bit ridiculous. 3,000 defense. Um. Okay then. Let's see a slifer for slifer pack. The final pack of War of the Giants. It's Copycat. That's not bad. Not a bad pack. Copycat's good. Shard of Greed is good. Everything else is decent. Not a bad package of cards. These two I like. Here we go. This is all that matters, and the last time I opened one of these, I did pull the most expensive and rarest. So, let's see if we can make that two. Okay. I'm gonna let the camera focus in. Stem pack. A ribbon of rebirth. Sky Star Ray. Gentlemander. What? Sauropod. What the heck? There's a lot of defense. Got a Lila Light Sworn Sorceress. Super Rare. Evil Swarm Katos. Super Rare. Back to Square One. Super Rare. Have this card. That wacky alchemy super rare. Camera clops super rare. How many foils are in the Ooh! Super rare wall of illusion. I like this card. It's a fun card. Oh baby. <laughs> oh baby, guess what? That makes two. That was from the first pack. That's two. Two big eyes out of two round two boxes. And I got this box for free, which makes it even better. Playful Possum, Memory Loss, none of this stuff even matters now because we pulled Big Eye for the second time. Two boxes, two Big Eyes, both are worth more than the boxes themselves. So, I would say that is, that's a good pack. And I got some cards I actually really like. I like Wall of Illusion because it's a fun troll deck card and I've never seen a super rare. But, anyway, Copycat's always fun to irritate people with, and Forbidden Dress is worth a little bit of money, so that right there for paying $18 on Amazon is a good score, and uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, and you're surprised to see two big eyes back to back, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys later.
Alright, today we're opening another War of the Giants round two. These are my pulls from the first two, so let's see if we can keep the streak alive today. Let's see if we can get a third big eye out of the third box consecutively. See, now the one time, the one time I don't go ahead and slice the side with a knife, it's impossible to open. Konami, stop packaging these things so tightly. Of course, they've gorilla glued the packages in here. My goodness, there's just no reason for that. All right. Flip all these over. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the War of the Giants. Just because that's what I normally do. Have a Rippy Yoku. Mataza the Zapper. Beast King Barbaros. Bazoo the Soul Eater. And Dark Resonator. Come on, let's see a Slifer or a Raw. One of the, yeah, the two cards I haven't pulled from this set. Uh, Mask of Weakness. Whoops, missed one. Gene Wolf, Warped, War, War Wolf, my goodness, sorry. Dark Valley Korea. Tour Bus from the Underworld. And Ember Lease. Sorry if the camera's a little bit out of focus. I'm going to try and fix it as the video is being recorded. Curse of Anubis, Autonomous Action Unit, Card Card D, there's a good one, that was not too bad, Hyper Hammerhead, and Tiki Soul, so we got a Card Card D, that's not too bad, that makes five Card Card Ds I have now, Malevolent Nuzzler, Nuzzler, my gosh, my speech today, I'm sorry, I've been sick and it's obviously showing Botanical Lion, Shard of Greed, Shira on the Mage, and Twin Headed Behemoth. Two more packs. Let's see if we can get a God card. Hopefully, we can. Horn of the Unicorn, Phantom Dragon, Cyber Valley, Kaiku. I like Kaiku. And Mega Phantom Beast, something no one cares about. Sorry, just don't like Mega Phantom Beasts. Every other set of cards is fine, just not that one. Union Attack, Skill Successor, Dark Lord, Desire. I don't think I've ever pulled this card out of a War of the Giants pack. And that's two booster boxes, a battle pack, and uh, let's just put it this way. I've opened a lot of War of the Giants packs. I've never pulled that card, so I don't know if that's good or not, but... We'll just assume that maybe it is. If it is, feel free to let me know in the comments and explain why. Here for the, the thing you actually care about watching. Wing Sage Falcos. Sky Star. I have one of these. Have a Gentle Mander already. Destiny Hero Defender. Mega Phantom Beast. Might as well just throw that one off to the side. Ooh, Dark Bribe. Super rare. I love this card. Dark Bribe is one of my favorites. A Hypnocorn. I believe I have this card already. I'm not too crazy about it. We have a Megamorph. That's a not a bad card. Adhesion Trap Hole. have one of these already as well. Mega Phantom Beast Stealth Ray. A card I could really care less about. Adhesive Explosive. And an Ultra Rare Safe Zone. Not sure if that's really worth anything, but maybe it is because it's an ultra rare, and I know the ultra rare big eyes are like a fortune. So hopefully that's worth something. But anyway, needle ceiling, medium of the ice barrier, DD Esper Star Sparrow. I've never seen this card. Looks pretty interesting though. And Heroic Challenger Night Watchman. So, 
I guess let's go through and pull out the foils I pulled. Six foils. Adhesion Explosive, Super Rare. Adhesion Trap Hole, uh, Super Rare. Megamorph, Super Rare. Hypnocorn, Super Rare. Super Rare Dark Bribe. I think this Dark Bribe is actually worth a little bit of money because I've looked through the list. But hopefully Safe Zone is worth a little bit. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.